I just got this objective in the mail from Echo. It's a phase contrast, long working distance, 40x objective. It will allow me to see bacteria pretty easily. Today we're going to be seeing if Life Straw really works. Out of all the requests that I get, this is definitely one of the ones that I get the most often. This is the end of the Life Straw that you stick in the water and I just wanted to show you that you could see the first layer of the filter here. We're really going to be putting this thing to the test because I've got three different jars of some really gross water that's just been saturating in the sun for a while. You can see here that the jars have developed some kind of film on the surface of the water. I stirred one of them up and shined a light through the bottom of the jar. As you can see, it's filled with tons of different organisms. With no movement or aeration, this stagnant water has become a breeding ground for a bunch of biofilms and bacteria. Before I show you what's in the sample I just took, I just wanted to show you the slide itself. You can see so much movement going on. Alright, let's take a look. As you can see here, there's a ton of paramecium. And there's also some other smaller cilia that you can see in the background. I'm not sure what these smaller cells are, but there's tons of them. There's also some vorticella and tons of bacteria. The little tiny rod and spiral shapes that you see floating around the screen are actually the bacteria, and there's a very high concentration of it in this sample. We're going to be using a gas siphoning pump to be able to do this. It fits perfectly on the tip of the life straw. Once that's attached, all I have to do is put the other end of the hose into an empty jar to collect the water, and then stick the life straw into one of these gross jars. Once that was set up, all I had to do was start pumping the water. After a few pumps, the palm water was already drained, and the other jar started filling up immediately. As you can see, there's a big noticeable difference after being filtered. I was expecting a yellow tint to this, but it's actually pretty clear too. Now we can grab a few samples of the filtered water to see how well it was cleaned. After looking through a few different samples, all that I came across was some debris, but no microbes or any signs of life. Using the gas pump as a way to extract the water is probably what caused most of the debris, but it was the only way I could think to do this experiment without contaminating it too much. Overall, I'd say it definitely works. I'd much rather drink this water than the water that we saw in the beginning. Let me know down in the comments what you'd like to see next.